Let's talk a little bit about the Mariners defense as we transition to our second storyline. We talked in the first week of the season talking about offense will stabilize, pitching will stabilize, defense, I think our words were this may be just what you get. Defense doesn't often stabilize. When you see a defensive product on the field, this is basically what it is. And and the Mariners defense through the first week was horrific. It's cleaned up a lot since then. It's cleaned up a good amount since then. I'm not going to sit here and tell you they're the best defense in baseball, but they are certainly far from the worst defense in baseball. That's for sure. I don't know if we're to the point of freezing cold take takesing. Is that a term? Freezing cold takesing ourselves in term when it comes to the defense. But I w- they've essentially just traded water since the opening week. I think we checked in in the opening week. They were negative two as a team in outs above average. I believe the number was. Right now, they're negative two. A month later. So, they it's remarkable. They've managed to be essentially an average defense since then, which is, re- I think what we said in there, it's all they need to be. Just be average. Just be average. Average defensive teams can make the playoffs. No problem. It's not going to hinder you. It's You will do enough defensively to make the playoffs. And if we think, we break this down on an individual level, the most important positions the Mariners are doing just fine at. Catcher, one of the best defense, defensive catchers in the league, Cal Raleigh. Seven defensive runs saved so far this season. He's part of the reason the Mariners, in de- terms of defense run saved, are actually top five in baseball. Cal has a lot of heavy lifting to do in that department. But also, you look up the middle, and Julio's been excellent in center field defensively. You can say what you want about his offense. His defense has been amazing, both outs above average and defensive runs saved. And then up the middle, at shortstop, they've been about average. And you can handle that. You can handle that. Demo is, I think, negative one DRS, and then JP is zero at zero right now. And you you can handle that. Because overall, up the middle, then, you're plus. Demo's total DRS is three when you combine all the different positions. For the year, he's at three defensive run save. Where did the three come from? Was it the outfield? I guess so. But when you just look at his total defensive run saved, it says, it says Dylan Moore, three DRS. So that's what I was going to ask you. You're talking about OAA and where they rank. Are we sure they're an average defense? It depends on what defensive metric you value more. But DRS says they're actually one of the better defensive teams in baseball. So the eye t- does the eye test tell you they're a top five defense? Personally, throw the numbers out. Do you think they're top five defense just watching them? Because I personally don't think so. N- no. No, but I will say the the only guy out there right now, and the numbers back this up, that really feels like it's been a bit of a liability on defense is Mitch Hanniger, and his defensive metrics back that up. He's at negative five defensive run save. Mm -hmm. Other than that, with all the defensive concerns about this team moving into the season, they've been quieted. Let's, Let's hype up this third base platoon yet again. Luis Urias is at three defensive runs saved. Remember how everybody saw him throwing in spring training between having the shoulder injury and the short arming, and clearly he was trying to work back from some things, and people were beyond nervous? Luis Urias has been good over there. Legitimately good. I'm not going to say he was as good defense. He's as good defensively as Gino was last year. That's not fair. But he has been very much above average over at third base defensively this year, and he's hitting lefties. That guy has been nothing but a success through the first six weeks of the season, both on offense and on defense. So huge credit to those guys. Again, Rojas has been right at average, which is right what you need him to be. That, that, like, that's such a big deal. We talked about, is this third base platoon going to combine to lose this team a bunch of runs? Absolutely not. They're not doing that right now. It's great. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it, Outside of Mitch, I do agree on the Mitch take. Rayleigh has been, yeah, he's been fine. N- mm-hmm. Like nothing, yeah. I would say nothing noticeable. But but that's the whole key, right? Is outside of Hanniger, everybody has either been above average or they've been fine. Rayleigh's right. been fine, right? Like I'm not going to sit here and tell you he's been great. Ty France, we can talk about that one. D- yeah. now, d- well, we can save him. DRS says he's been fine. OAA says something a little bit different. But yeah, third base... G- fine. Demo's been good. 
Polanco, again, it depends on what metric you prefer. DRS says he's been a little bit better than OAA does. Cal's been good. Julio, we know, has been good. Rayleigh's been fine. Canzone out there was fine. Like, fine is all this team has to be. They don't mm-hmm. have to be the best defensive team in the league, but I think they're playing a lot better than most people thought they were going to play defensively at the start of the year. See, if you break it down by area of the field, like center's been great, corner outfields cumulatively have been a little bit below average. Mitch Hanniger dragging that down a little bit because he just really hasn't been that good out there. Left side of the infield has been well above average. Right side of the infield has been negative with Polanco and Ty France. I was kind of shocked at those Ty France numbers. He had a bad error today, but I didn't think overall he had been atrocious defensively, but the numbers say something different than that. And then catching, of course, has been superb. And if you want to make an argument that, hey, Cal Raleigh being great should make this defense a top five defense, you know, I can, you can pitch me that argument because not everyone has a catcher that good behind the plate. Catchers are really important defensively. They're one of two positions that touches the ball every single pitch. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's important. Mm-hmm. I think this defense is going to be perfectly fine. That's what I have to say. They're not going to have a bunch of gold glovers. I don't think they're going to lose you games either. That's the key. There were people worried that this defense was going to lose them games. Right now, they're not doing that. And, and if you want some more context about how far away the Mariners are, you, you hear negative two OAA. Okay, what if the last place team is negative eight OAA? That's really not that far away. The worst team is at negative 21. Shocker, the Marlins, the team that already said they have not, they're not making the playoffs this year. Where they're not going to compete, but their defense tells that story. And then the best team is plus 14. The Mariners are closer to the best team than the worst team. That makes you guys feel better. There you go. So Ty France, Mitch Hanniger, if you want to outline areas where there could be a little bit of improvement in, in terms of guys' defensive games, those are two. But collectively as a unit, it's been perfectly fine. Yeah. And that's, again, as we say, all we can ask for, if you pair a fine defense with an above average offense and this pitching staff, the Mariners will be in the playoffs at the end yeah. of the season. Also, you talked about how good Julio's been. He, but just by the numbers, he leads center fielders and outs above average. Yeah. It's pretty good. And the eye test backs it up. When you're, when you're up the middle, defenders are playing like that, it's going to do you a lot of good. When you have Cal playing the way he plays, when you have Julio playing the way he plays, that does a lot. Yeah, it does do a lot. And it covers up a lot of, it covers up a lot of the other areas that, Mm -hmm. like Mitch Hanniger's defense is better because Julio's in center field. Mm-hmm. even though his defense has not been good this year. It could be worse, and so could right. Rayleigh's, and so could Dom Canzone, because Julio's out there covering the most ground that anyone could cover out there in center field. 